city. It's an amazing group of people that work behind the scenes to make it happen. And I really feel like I'm a part of something larger than myself. It represents community to me. It, of course, provides monetary support to enable you to express yourself and to envision often what is impossible in your normal everyday life. Oh, this was incredible. I was, uh, I was living in a cellar basement and this gave a great deal of confidence in what I was doing and in my work. And well, the Charlotte Street Foundation means it was a very special thing to get the award. It, it meant a lot to me because it was a, a validation. I mean, I'd been working for quite a while as an artist, and it was just a way of saying, um, hey, we know you're out there. We like what you're doing. Uh, keep up the good work, and here's some money to do some work. I think the Charlotte Street Foundation means, to me, um, an organization that's recognized that there is a lot of really great talent in Kansas City, that you don't have to go out of town to, to find good art, and it's demonstrated that by virtue of just really the seat of their pants, a great grassroots organization has endowed a lot of even, uh, you know, a lot of these artists to make other work and to, to consider that this is a place to stick around. Um, it's 10 years of supporting artists, really, and the visual arts especially, you guys know that, but that's what we're celebrating tonight. I know everybody has seen the book, I should have a copy of it in my hands. Since I didn't have anything to do with it, I can gush about it. I couldn't be more <laughs> proud of that book uh, if I had done it all myself. It's just an amazing document, and David's going to give specific thank yous later on, but I just wanted to say it from the get-go. To those of you who worked hard in the room on that book, Undying thing. It's just an amazing thing that's going into the history of Kansas City. What I want to say about the book is, as typical Charlotte Street fashion, I think, um, and the way David operates, was as we thought about the 10 year anniversary thinking, what is going to be most beneficial to the artist? I think we're living in a jazz age, another jazz age, and maybe we don't know it. Charlotte Street Foundation means to me, uh, it gave me a uh, freedom to be able to create uh, whatever I want to do. The goal was to uh, set Kansas City as a mecca for the arts. And so I think uh, we're on our way. You know, I was the first painter to get a Charlotte Street Fund Award, so it was something that was totally unexpected. To me, it means sort of... Um, the unexpected means freedom, and it means uh, it means being rewarded in a way that is very tangible for artists and very important to us. I think that strengthens the artistic community here. I think the institutions that are coming on board now in this city, it's really a confluence of different aspects that really help to make this a much more viable place for artists to live and work. And the Charlotte Street Foundation plays an enormous role in that. What the Charlotte Street Foundation has done for me is given me this opportunity to be engaged with, with the Kansas City art community by contributing essays to the book. Um, and, and it's a very meaningful book in, in celebrating 10 years of artistic accomplishment. I think in larger terms what the Charlotte Street Foundation does for me and, and for art professionals and for the wider community is bring visibility to the excellence of contemporary art in Kansas City. Uh, every year there are new discoveries in the Charlotte Street show. Uh, these artists who emerge and then become part of the uh, the, the higher visibility Kansas City art community. Some of them leave, but we, we still think of them as Kansas City artists. Someone like Eric Saul, who goes off and ends up in New York, for example. Michael Rees, another example of that. So uh, I think it's establishing a, a, kind of, uh, a kind of center of gravity in contemporary art in Kansas City, that even the artists who leave town are still sort of orbiting around that. And, and at the same time, you know, bringing energy to Kansas City because people know that the Charlotte Street Foundation is here, that there's this kind of support and recognition, that they can make a career as an artist in Kansas City, they can achieve this kind of, of, of visibility, it leads to other opportunities. So I just think it's been a tremendous boon for the Kansas City art world, for artists, for art lovers, for art professionals. 
uh, it's just it's just a tremendous uh, asset, and um, I can't imagine Kansas City without the Charlotte Street Foundation.